All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, guys, to uh, just a little, it might be a little one-off series, might not be, but as you guys know, I am in the UBC, and this is just a little training session I was doing to go ahead and make myself better with my, my team that I played. As you can see, guys, these are all members of the Shinryu Pikachus, and I decided to take my showdown playing a little bit more seriously, learn more about how showdown operates, hacks, things like that, and really customize my thing. This trainer I fought today fought really, really good, but in the end ended up falling, and you guys are going to see how, but just know that in the process of this, not only did I make this trainer mad, but I also made him quit. It could leave me a lot of hate mail, but we will see more about that. Let's get this battle started. Now to start the battle off, just like you've seen in any other battle, I decided to go ahead and start off with Escadrille, with the air balloon. As I said, guys, I went ahead and did a little bit of research and we got the names. He pretty much went ahead and got my Escadrille useless. But we got the hacks up and he knocks off. So my Sableye now no longer has leftovers. Yeah, he's just going to go ahead and try to kill me off here. So I try to burn him. It bounces back and hits me. And he knocks it. He uses a knockoff kill. Me. At this point, I go into Zard X. He decides to recover. I decide to go for detail to go ahead and get him out of there and get somebody else to come in and get some damage from it. So his glass score comes in, his toxic activates, and he goes ahead and sets up rocks. I dragon tail and he goes into his dragonite. Now if dragonite had any multi-scale or anything like that, it was gone. I use dragon tail again to get him out of there. He goes into Meryl, uses aqua jet, and I live. So I do the T punch to go ahead and get him down to almost next to no life. His system spray activates and he decides to aqua jet to finish me off. At this point we go back into Escadrille so I can go ahead and clean up my field a little bit more. He decides to switch giving me a free sweep of the field. So we sweep the rocks off my side of the field. He recovers a little bit from his leftovers and he decides to go ahead and use defog. I realized that and I was like okay now that he's done that I still have my air balloon I'm burnt. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. We go into glass war. He uses psychic on my glass. And now my glass going like Kudra is a tank. It handled that like it was nobody's business. And I just go ahead and deep him. But he also took it like a tank. So I decided it's time to go back into a physical attacker with an air balloon. He will a wisp and I'm already burnt trying to build a wisp Kudra and it doesn't fail. So at this point he does psychic, which I resist because I'm still, but my air balloon goes and I use drill run does a little bit of damage but not nearly as much as I would want to have done and he finally gets him out of it now the field's clear as you guys can see I decide I'm gonna go ahead and go into floor yes and try to go to go ahead and set up some barriers here now light screen is up for five to seven turns five to eight turns now four to seven and I'm going for moon blast I'm trying to do everything I can to hurt this mule enough so that I can turn this around because if you guys are looking at it I have three Pokemon to his five and that just doesn't look good for me, not at all. Luckily for me, Burn isn't really hurting me. It, it's lowered my attack, but I'm using Giga Drain to try to pull my life up and lower his. He gets a little bit back from the leftovers. Now at this point, I already knew he was faster than me. And I'm down to two Pokemon versus his five. Are you guys looking at this? Two V5. Gudra comes in and with that little bit of damage, gets the, gets the most potential thing I, I ever have to use. And he literally sweeps this fight. Sludge wave. We hit we hit this. It resisted it. And he goes in a lava balloon. I'm resisting it. So then I decide to go ahead and try a different route. T-bolt. Critical hit, 28%. Flash cannon resisted. Burn hits me again. Do it again. Take 18 more percent of his life away. Now Gooch is gone. There are three Pokemon versus my one Quagsire. This battle made me appreciate this draft that I have. Look at, I mean, just look at everything. It looks like I'm gonna lose, right? No way. I get the substitute off, and this is where the battle really becomes in my favor. Skull gets his heat tran out of there. So he has two Pokemon versus my one. I use Earth Power, that's 27%. He tries, he will have wisdom, which gets off. I heal, I lose. So I'm, I'm, I'm losing 6% of my life each turn because the leftovers aren't really neutralizing the burn, they're just limiting it. At this point, he goes for the knockoff to get my leftovers over. Now, if you look, I have one hit left. I get it off. Not only do I beat him, not only do I beat him, guys, but in the comments, if I could expand this for you, he left me an interesting message of F.U. Noob. 
crazy, isn't it? But anyways, that's the battle, guys. I hope you like it. I, it really made me feel a little bit more happy about this. And I will be putting this up for you guys to look at. In the meantime, if you like what we're doing and you're loving how we're doing it, hit that like button, guys. Peace.